Why hello friends, Jen Foxbot here. I am working on a new Arduino curriculum and uh, I wanted to show you a little demo that I made for a really cool project that you can do to understand how we use computers to make sounds slash also just in general how sounds work. So um, I'll share the code um, and actually I think I'll do a little project write-up but for now this is just a demo. Um, but basically the code is super simple. All it's doing is using delay. I'm using an Arduino Uno, um, NLL speaker, um, and I'm using the delay function to basically um, pulse an electrical signal on and off. So if the signal is really, really slow, we can actually hear it as a series of clicks. But as it gets faster and faster, um, then it actually becomes so fast that our ears don't hear it as a series of clicks as on and off, but we hear it as a note. So um, I hooked up these two little buttons, this one on uh, my left or stage right um, adds the delay um, and I'm trying to I'm trying to increase it so that we can hear the clicks. Um, and then this one on the left uh, decreases the delay. So I'm gonna plug the speaker in now and I'll let you listen. Okay, so there's this series of clicks. So if I increase the uh, delay, then it slows the clicks down. But as I decrease the delay, We will get to a point at which we don't hear the clicks. Oh, getting close. Okay, now check that out. We hear a note, right? Clicks. Note. Ah, I went too far. <laughs> <laughs> so by now, um, now that I'm changing the speed, it hits a certain threshold, um, now I can change the speed to get different notes. <gasps> so yeah, um, higher frequency notes are literally uh, sound waves that are moving faster than lower frequency notes. Super cool, right? So all you need is an Arduino Uno. Oh, I'm gonna unplug that, okay. All you need is an Arduino Uno, um, a speaker, uh, some alligator clips, the ground connection, oh, there we go, okay. The ground connection um, is the one closest to the plug. And um, with your speakers, there are gonna be two sections. One section is for one speaker, the other section is for the other speaker. So right now I'm only playing out of this speaker. But if I were to move this red alligator clip from the end section to the middle section, and the sections are separated by black lines, then I would be playing it out of the other speaker. Um, so yeah, play around with that. Uh, I will get this written up as a project tutorial at some point in the near future. Please let me know if you have any questions and happy exploring, yeah!